How's everybody doing today? God bless you guys in Jesus' name. I want to talk to you guys today and share a, a message and a passage of scripture here out of 1 Samuel chapter 10. And I, and, the, and I want to title or talk about you are what you're surrounded by, what you're surrounded by, you become. I'm going to say that again. You are what you're surrounded by and you be and, and what you're surrounded by whom you become like. It gets on you, positive and negative, good and bad, fruitfulness or not. So let's read here out of 1 Samuel chapter 10 and walk with me. As we see what happens in this moment, and a lot of times how you position yourself, who you align with, what you're connected to matters more than you think. 1 Samuel 10, verse number 9, starting here. And when Saul had turned his back to leave Samuel the prophet, God gave him another heart. And all these signs came to pass that day. When they came to the hill, Gabeah, behold, a band of prophets met him. And the Spirit of God came mightily upon him. So notice who he met, who he connected to, resulted in God coming upon him mightily in this moment. And he spoke under divine inspiration among them. Something began to bubble up, the Spirit of God. Something came upon the Spirit of God in this moment when he met the band of prophets. Walk with me, we're going somewhere. And when all who knew Saul before, uh, when all who knew Saul before saw that he spoke by inspiration among the schooled prophets, the people said to one another, what has come over him? Who is nobody but the son of Kish? Is Saul also among the prophets? See, when God begins to place things upon your life, especially in gifts or um, even the even the the fruit of what is upon a person that inspires another to begin to model out and walk out with the help of the Holy Spirit, God's fruitfulness, God's gifts, and God's blessing, and his favor that comes upon them because of, because of what you connect to, because of what you're surrounded by, all of a sudden, come on somebody, all of a sudden what is upon them comes upon you. See, we can see it in the negative, but it is also... So in the positive, now walk with me. One from the, uh, so is Saul also among the prophets? One from the same place answered, but who is the father of the others? So it became a proverb, is Saul also among the prophets? I'm gonna go back here real quick to verse number 10. When they came to the hill of Gibeah, behold, a band of prophets met him, and the Spirit of God came mightily upon him. And he spoke under divine inspiration among them. So brothers and sisters, my message to you today is this. Where you go, what you're connected to, who you link up with, who you give your ear to, what you watch inspires and places upon you more than you know. 
see, you can always tell, I can always tell the realm of revelation and the understanding and the knowledge of individuals in church in Christianity based upon who they follow and, and listen to as teachers upon the Lamb. I can always tell you uh, the type of mindset based upon their following. I promise you I can. I can always tell you whether, whether or not there's limitation or acceleration based upon what it is they give heed to based upon who they listen to because what you're surrounded by should ultimately be advancing you and bubbling up within you and, 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 and utilizing the gift of God in you that transforms you, that inspires you, that catapults you, that walks you into a newness that you otherwise did not have until you came into the company of others that were where you were going that got upon you that you now begin to walk in because you came into. If you don't think that connections and who you give your ear to and who you watch does not have a big impact. And, 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 and if you think it's just, well, no, I just like them. I just, but, but here's what I'm saying is this. It matters who you're under. It matters who you connected to. It matters who you marry. It matters who you walk with. It matters what type of leadership you are connected to, who you're submitted to, what you're locked into, because are you being transformed in the knowledge and the understanding by the spirit through the word and what it is you conceive and receive from that you hear on the daily? Is it just logos without the rhema? Is it the letter that kills without the spirit? Or is it the word by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit confirming truth in you now that you have the Holy Ghost? See, here Saul came into the atmosphere or in the surrounding or the environment of the prophets and the Spirit of God came upon them. But now you have the Spirit of God on the inside of you for, for those that are born again from above seated in heavenly places and have the spirit of God on the inside of you to confirm and bear witness to truth that should be leading you and guiding you deeper, higher, accelerating your life, never decreasing, always increasing, propelling you and taking you, even stretching you because you've never been there before. See, the flesh is always going to cringe and be and, and hurt, and it's going to feel the pain as you break as you break forth and and hit that sonic boom <laughs> that you've never penetrated before because you have not been through that before. But others are there, which is why when you get around people. And you get around brothers and sisters and leaders of the body of Christ that are walking in something that you are not. It will encourage you and inspire you. And God may be leading you to places, people, atmospheres, environments for you to be introduced to something that you already carry that will be awakened when you meet. Hear me. The gift of God, the gifts of God, do you know, are already on the inside of you? Which is why when you step into something and you get around those that have what you carry, it awakens, it brings to life Elizabeth, Mary, the presence of Christ, caused John the Baptist in the belly of Elizabeth to leap when she was told what she carried. Ah, brothers and sisters, you have more power and you have the Holy Spirit on the inside of you. Get around those that would encourage the gift.